hit you. Is it Christmas tree day? Is it Christmas tree day? Let's go back to Christmas tree. Go, 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 go. Hi. Hello. What is going on? What is this? Is this not a biscuit? I don't care. What's this? Is this all the advent calendars in every store ever? So that if anyone didn't get one this year, it's you to blame. Maybe. Maybe. That is the Christmas tree man. That's right, it's the 1st of December, and that means one thing, one thing only, chocolate in the mornings. That's it means three things. Chocolate in the mornings, Christmas tree, and only 24 days away from Christmas. The Christmas tree man. Christmas tree man. Christmas tree man. <laughs> How are we doing? Grinch on the TV. Puppies on the new rug. Enjoying it, are you? you enjoying it? Yeah? You gonna come and help me uh, do the tree? Yeah, you come in. Yeah, yeah. No? Second guessing it? There's a biscuit in it for you, if you come now. No? Two biscuits. Three? So the tree has arrived, but I have to chop off the end. So it doesn't die, doesn't dry, and turn into a giant flame ball. <laughs> Let's get it on, tree. Chop the end of this off, then get this bad boy in the house. What do you reckon, Rox? And just in case this one doesn't work, we've got this one from the basement. Do you trust me with this? Yeah. <laughs> That's right, tree. Feel me now, don't you? Oh, come on, just like going through some bow. Come on, give it. Oh, you want a bigger tool? Fine. Give it up, tree. Give it up. Come on. It's just an inch. Just a tip. <laughs> you want it? There you go, yeah. Take it. Oh, you bitch. Come on, give it, give it up, give it up. You're no bloody good there, are you? Huh? Should've got a retriever. At least I could've said you can retrieve some biscuits. Yo ho ho, it's the pirates. Life for me. Yes! Yes! All right, treat. In you go. Get a Bailey! Get a Bailey! Why does it always end in sniffing butts? Huh? Why are you always sniffing butts? Come on, hold this door open. Hold this door open. Or just stare at me. What do you think, girls? Is it good? Is it a good tree? It's Christmas! Woo, there we go. The tree is in and it just, just fits. I feel like a man. <sighs> Jim, then decorate the tree. So here it is, my accountability physique update slash starting point. And the reason I want to do this is because obviously you guys follow me on Instagram and things like that. You see like good postures and physiques all the time, but it's obviously a post single image of which is probably multiple angles taken. So here what I want to show you is my weak points and strong points. Weak points you can see are going to be on the left hand side. Look at my left lat there. See how it's higher than the right? That's an impingement problem. Look at my left shoulder. Always sits a little higher than my right. Again, impingement problems. These are things that I want to fix over the next new series which is coming very soon and I'm going to be showing you exactly how to fix all of these but also what I want to do here with this update is just show you where I'm at kind of musculature is that a word that's not a word muscular level my muscular level I want to show you the muscular level we're at because the idea of this is going to be to maintain the best physique I can whilst going forward to learn how to fight in boxing to then go through to an actual boxing match to carry out a form of testing marathon like a tough mudder or something like that and then finally the end of the series will be me finishing up on a stage more than likely in a physique if not maybe a bodybuilding um, competition of some form. So this is just me setting that standard for myself, um, giving you my starting point. And this is your 10 second warning for man in pants time. So if you don't like a man in pants, turn away now, but there's no other way for me to show you my legs. Now legs are a big one here. Always my main area of holding fat is kind of my lower back 
and quads. Even when I get super, super shredded, my quads, uh, they come through a little bit more each time, but they've never been like truly striated or, or uh, feathered out, super, super lean. So I'm really interested to see how my uh, quad and general leg development comes along with the new style of functional training because I'm doing way more angles. I'm working on fixing my left glute issue. Um, so that's hopefully going to help me connect way more with the leg muscles, which is probably a reason why they've never come through properly in the first place. The whole thing being that, you know, if you just grind through with that kind of strong athlete mentality of just keep going, keep going, uh, you end up with problems that you um, work around rather than repair obviously i got to show you my crazy calves they're just they are what they are they're super high inset they're really freaky um i do train them i've obviously designed to sprint and not run long distance which is another reason i want to start running some long distance stuff and yeah my left one's crazy gnarly it looks like it's got a ball sack on the end of it uh, the right one uh inner head's all good outer head needs a little bit of work as you can see but we'll see how we get on and happy dance to finish yeah i know you're looking at me like what you're not going to mention the Cookie Monster socks? Okay, yes, I was wearing Cookie Monster socks. I like Thunderwear. So shoot me. If you ever catch me wearing some Argyle socks and boring ass underwear, you can literally feel free to shoot me. But, on another note, it's launch time. The new series is coming your way. I was originally going to launch the trailer yesterday, but I've decided to amalgamate the trailer into my first motivational video, episode one. So it's going to be a really kick-ass edit into a motivational speech about why and how I'm going to be doing what I'm doing. What I want to make clear here, there's three things that are going to carry on in this series. There's going to be a boxing match. There's going to be a Tough Mudder style marathon. And there is going to be me competing on stage again for the first time in about six or seven years. It is not a fight series. This is a full on training series. And what I want to get across to you guys, this is going to be about learning to amalgamate more than just being in the weights. That is gonna help you become a better machine. And the better machine we are, the better shape we can stay in, the easier it is to stay in that shape, and the lower body fats we can maintain for longer periods of time. Just being addicted to the weights and being in that weights room is so one dimensional that it has actually hindered me in my progress. What I've actually found over the last 12 months is that by cutting out other sports and only focusing on weights has actually reversed my ability to be athletic. It's increased my injury risk and it's decreased my motivation because it's boring because I was not maximizing my potential. If you have the potential to do sport, to be out there doing something else that you used to love that you gave up because you thought weights was the only way, this is your time to get back involved. Now I know right now it's winter and I know it's dark outside and it's dark there early and this is the time of year when we lack motivation. This is the time of year when we fall off but you have my promise, you have my fucking word. I will not back down from this series. I will achieve every target we set and I will follow it through. We will be going forward into a boxing match. And we're gonna be doing that by working with the likes of Owen Roddy, Conor McGregor's coach. I'm gonna be back out to LA to work with Shane Faison. And my ultimate goal is to have this boxing match on the undercard of the KSI versus Logan rematch in America. That is my goal. If it doesn't happen, either way, I'm still gonna fight. I'll be fighting in a white collar boxing match for charity of some kind. You have my goddamn word. But it's gonna include me training in the gym as well as learning to box and creating workouts for you guys that will transcend, hopefully from here through the lens to you, and you'll be able to then carry them out in your own time. I'm gonna adapt things I utilize with specific equipment and specialized stuff. I'm gonna make sure everything is adaptable for you to be able to carry on and join this fucking journey with me. Alongside that, what I want to do is run in a tough modern marathon or some kind of Ironman event, and you guys to join with me alongside. And I mean fucking alongside, running that race with me. I'm in talks at the moment with Tough Motor for us to have our own tent at an event, and Gymshark and EHP Labs to help bring in some cool shit for any of you that want to join in and help me raise money for charity. I'm also gonna start a hashtag Family Friday. And that means on Instagram, so if you follow me on Instagram here, what you'll be able to do, you're gonna be able to enter to win every single Friday, every single week, a stack from EHP and some gym kit from Gymshark. And that's gonna be every Friday. So once that launches, I will let you know. So pay attention and make sure to follow on there. And last but not least, to culminate this entire series, for the final part of it, we're gonna be going into prep to step back on stage to do a physique show because I want to show you that you can be fit, you can be healthy, you can do an athletic sport alongside your weight training and still achieve that body that is able to step on stage and compete with people that only do weights. Does that sound good? Is that like something that you want to be fucking involved with because I am fucking excited. I couldn't be more motivated right now because this is not just about hitting goals and challenges, it's about improving 
Hence the physique update. I want to show you my weaknesses because I'm going to be improving all my mobility. I'm going to be improving on all my issues and problems, how I'm going to fix them. And I'm going to put that across to you guys because a lot of my issues are common and I'm going to fix them and I want to help you fix them. We're all going to feel fucking better. We're all going to look better. And I promise you, we're going to have fun while we're fucking doing it. With all that being said, I do also just want to address a little thing. If some of you guys have watched Laney's recent video, I want to thank you all for the messages and support that we've been receiving from all over the world. It's been really, it's been really nice. And um, I didn't want to bring that into my kind of area at the moment because I don't know, I just, uh, with the new series coming, I think I want to keep everything very positive. That's a very personal issue. And I didn't want to upset other people by bring, bringing it up, but uh, if you want to go and watch that video and make up your own minds, if you want me to talk about it, I will do. I do warn you, it's a little bit upsetting watching it, so please just be thoughtful and um, thank you all very much in the meantime for the support. But you know, the uh, the world doesn't stop turning for anyone and you have to just keep moving day by day and it's just sent to test you. These things are sent to test you. What will be will be, what is meant to happen will happen. I truly believe that if you put out positive into the world, you're not going to avoid negativity. Bad things will still happen. This is inevitable, but the end result is overall, you'll overcome it. You'll become better. You'll become stronger. Everything happens for a purpose. And one major way of getting over things is to set yourself goals. So alongside the big ones I've already set, I have one more for you. And that is the return of the crew cast. That's right, I'm gonna be bringing it back and it's gonna be getting its very own channel. So that will be going live alongside with the new series. I'll let you know during that series when the first, well, it's not the first episode, it's probably the 10th probably crew cast episode, but when that gets reignited, I'll let you know, all links will be there and we are back on track. It'll all be up on iTunes and everything for you guys to download. And it's gonna be, it's gonna be an area of freedom, a little corner of the internet where we just talk about everything and anything. I'm gonna have a number of guests on there uh, and you guys can request certain people to be on it and I'll do my best to make that happen. So for this episode, the last episode before the start of the new series, which will be 6th of December, this Thursday, the series is gonna be called Undisputed. Not because I think I'm gonna be a champion of any form, but because I'm undisputedly gonna get back to doing what the fuck I love and I'm gonna do it to the best of my ability and I will not failure. Thank you all for the support so far. I am very excited to take this journey with you and I'll see you this Thursday. Boom, baby. Lately I've been doing shit different, cooking like a chef, I've been all up in the kitchen. Had to make a move, had to make a little distance. A lot of people tripping, they could never see the vision. Fuck that, tell them bounce.